Hello and welcome back. Thanks for watching. It sure didn't take long for the inflatable gimp Brian Stelter and his hate-filled projecting demagogue to use this horrendous attack as a weapon against his business and political opponents. First, let me just say that what that demon did is unforgivable. I cannot even begin to fathom how someone could do what he did or how someone could use such a horrible attack as a weapon against people that they disagree with on political issues. Sure, I've blamed the media for past attacks, but only as a demonstration of absurd to show how absurd this exact behavior by the Democrat media is. Or basically, it's different when I do it. The point is, they never hold themselves to the standards that they literally hold everyone they disagree with to. Let, let's be clear. Uh, the stuff Tucker and Laura Ingram say every night, it, it, it could be written by white supremacists very often. There is a section of this manifesto uh, where the shooter starts talking about, people always say diversity is strength. How is it strength? What do we, and it, it, I could hear it in Tucker's voice. Wait, 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 wait. So if you question the inherent strength of diversity, then that means you're a horrendous, inhuman, white supremacist mass murderer. So you can see exactly where this is going. Anyone who questions or challenges our political beliefs is a mass murdering white supremacist. And how convenient that this is right in line with your open agenda to suppress and censor your political opponents. And just a quick side note about the inherent strength of diversity. If that's the case, then why are the NBA and NFL mostly black players? Is it because diversity is our strength? Or is it because all the best players happen to be black? And when you do see outrage over diversity in those leagues, it's because they want it to be even less diverse than it already is. If the NFL and the NBA were more diverse, would the level of play be as high? No, it wouldn't be. But yeah, questioning diversity as an inherent strength is definitely something only a murderous psychopath Nazi would do. Far be it for me to question the wildly partisan rantings of a guy who wrote a book suggesting that white people are literally trying to hunt down all black people. Not to mention spreading Michael Brown conspiracy theories that have been debunked since 2012, which I'm sure hasn't incited anything at all. I'm going through the rest of this clip next, but first give me just a moment to tell you about this free coin offer from Noble Gold. All right, folks, now it's time to set goals for the next cycle of inflation. This way, you're always moving forward and growing, making money, not losing it. Just imagine having more freedom and having more fun. Start a gold IRA with Noble Gold right now and fight inflation. And this month for every IRA above 20K, you'll get an incredible three ounce silver American virtue coin, completely free as a thank you. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold. Call 877-646-5347 right now to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. You can also use the link in the description or pinned comment. He says this all the time, right? But the Ben Shapiro's of the world say this. There's a big chunk about uh, about the idea of, of genetic differences that could have been pulled from an Andrew Sullivan column, right? There are plenty of people in our politics, in our media, who advance these ideas and advance them frequently. Mm -hmm. Immigration for the last several decades has been the most salient topic in our politics. Mm -hmm. It's what Donald Trump uh, rode into power, or something Republicans have seized upon. It's something that in our rhetoric and in our conversation, very often mainstream political forces have been remarkably irresponsible in the language that you've used around immigration, around race, um, in ways that have fueled and empowered white supremacists. And again, it's not just people on the far right. I mean, we're talking on CNN where for years Lou Dobbs was given an hour every night to say some pretty racist things. Does he give a single example of these supposedly racist things Lou Dobbs said? Of course not, because they literally just apply that label to anything they disagree with. Quite literally, simply opposing illegal immigration is racist to these people. Oh yeah, I'm sure Tucker Carlson and Ben Shapiro have many communist, authoritarian left fans who hate Christians, hate Fox News, and are interested in, quote, green nationalism. Shapiro even appears in this scumbag's manifesto as a rat. Obviously, none of these people push replacement theory, and these political propagandists are just using it as an excuse to censor and maybe even outlaw their political and business opponents. They themselves will never be held to the standard they're attempting to sell here. For example, the shooter Don Symbols, popular with a certain military battalion that that CNN, the media, and Democrats are particular fans of. And just to get ahead of the fact checkers on this one, no, the Black Sun is not a Ukrainian symbol, but it's most definitely a Nazi symbol that is also used by a Ukrainian army battalion. I know, this fact is currently attacked as pro-Putin propaganda in the current environment, but not long ago, it was widely reported. Now, if we use CNN standards, this would mean that these two guys aren't just Nazi supporters, but they share beliefs with the mass shooter. I guess this means they're gonna be taking off the air right away. <laughs>
And just one more thing about replacement theory, which I know nothing about outside. It's supposedly about white people being replaced. It's ironic to me that the main place I hear about white people being replaced is by Democrats, their media, and Hollywood, who constantly go on and on about white people becoming a minority. The angry white guy is dying out. And the Census Bureau has already told us that by 2050, white people are going to be the minority. And I'm not sad to say I can't wait for that day to happen. I hope I live long enough to see it because it will be a better country. God damn, that was racist. That was racist. See, that's the problem with these fools. They never even consider that their rantings and justifications for suppressing their political opponents will ever be applied to them. And why would they consider it? A Democrat Bernie supporter screaming this is for health care while shooting Republicans and not a single one of these same people attributed to their rhetoric. If I have to take responsibility for everybody who voted for me, it will be a very difficult life. In fact, even the FBI did their best to downplay it, only years later very quietly telling the truth. Or how about riots from 2012-ish onward, many of which started based on disinformation and rhetoric from the media. But do they get held to this standard? Nope. Two black nationalists with social media profiles filled with anti-white rhetoric, common in CRT-derived curriculum, and one a fan of NBC News, in less than a year target white people. But these stories are treated as random events with no clue about motivations. And while he was far too busy for Waukesha, suddenly the standards have changed apparently. All right, folks, that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button, share and subscribe, then leave a comment to let us all know what you think. Thanks a lot.